floral formula for the members of family Fabaceae. Let's see the features one by one in the Fabaceae. If we talk about the features for the members belonging to the family Fabaceae, let's see the first one which is inflorescence. So if we talk about the type of inflorescence in the members of Fabaceae, it is racemose type. What do you understand by racemose type of inflorescence in which the older flowers will present towards the base of the plant and the younger one towards the apex of the plant but the main axis will not terminate that means it will grow indefinitely like this main tip pe flower nahi hoga it is present here and older one will be present towards the base of the plant and main axis will continue to grow indefinitely and they have will have and this type of arrangement of flower that means younger flower towards the tip and the older flowers towards the base of the plant is known as acropetal succession right now let's see the next feature which is flower a flower kis type ka hai this sign this person sign denotes zygomorphic symmetry this person sign denotes zygomorphic symmetry what do you understand by zygomorphic symmetry that flower can be divided into two equal halves by only single vertical plane of line yani sirf ek line se hi hum ek flower ko two equal part mein divide kar sakte hain not more than that for example this is a type of flower in which i am able to divide it into two equal half by only single line of plane it is also known as bilateral symmetry right and here in the diagram we can see that the flower is bisexual that means both male and female sex organ are present this is how we learn the features of the members of the family if we could remember the flora formula itself next feature flora feature which is k k represent calyx The unit of calyx is sepal. So here we can see the calyx are in the number five, and they are enclosed in a bracket. That means that sepals are fused. That means the condition is gamosepalous. And if we talk about their estivation, it could be of valvate or imbricate type. Let's move to the next, which is C. It denotes corolla. And here you can see the very special type of estivation in which one petal is okay single, next two petals, and the next two petals are fused together. This type of estivation is known as vexillary estivation, which is generally found in the members of Fabaceae. It is very beautiful type of estivation. Let me explain you how. So. first petal is like this which is known as standard the large posterior standard petal and it encloses two anteriorly placed wings these two petals are known as wings or carina and two petals which is known as keel they are fused together like this so this is how they are arranged one for standard two for wings and two fused one for key right so this is the vexillary estivation special type of estivation which is found in the members of fabaceae now next one is androecium here we can see that androecium are in two bundles that means they are diadelphous diadelphous this condition is cohesion of stamens यानी कि स्टेमेंट्स अपने आप में ही एक दूसरे के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं इन अ बंडल एंड इफ यू सी दैट देर आर टू बंडल्स दैट्स वाई इट इज नेम डाई एडल्फस नाइन स्टेमेंट एक साथ है और एक स्टेमेंट अलग है इट इज फॉर्मिंग टू बंडल नाउ लेट्स सी द गाइनोसियम स्ट्रक्चर द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन सो इट इज मोनो कार्पलरी एज वन डिनोट ओनली सिंगल कार्पल and as you can see that bar is given under the cheek that means the flower is 
hypogynous. Hypogynous flower, that means it is having the superior ovary and all of the and rest of the floral organs are below it. Now if we talk about the type of fruit which is found in the legume. The type of fruit which is found in the members of a basi is legume. The seeds which are formed in these are non-endospermic. That means during their development, the endosperms are completely consumed, right? So these are the complete features for the members of Fabaceae.